Howdy everybody, it's T-Biz here and uh, happy day after Christmas I guess, yeah, everybody had to go back to work, I did, some people didn't, you know, my, I don't think my dad did, but uh, oh well, some of us had to go back to work and um, today we're going to look at something I got in the mail today because I bought it off eBay, the little mini figure, uh, brick figure, Mo2 Lego knockoff guys, they're Masters of the Universe characters, um, I got a whole slew of them and uh, the guy actually sent me a freebie which is pretty cool, a seller which will secretly go to uh, my buddy Wampire because he likes to collect Legos and minifigures so I'm going to uh, break figures and stuff so I'm going to send him my bonus if he's watching this video he gets a, he's going to get the surprise in his next trade box whenever that is but um, yeah we're going to take a look at some of the figures and we're going to put together a figure too in this short little video and this is just the good guys I'm going to make another video with uh, just the bad guys that I got but I didn't get all the good guys and all the bad guys I wanted but I got some so I bought these off eBay for a pretty decent auction. It wasn't too expensive or whatever. Actually, it wasn't an auction. I didn't bid on them, but I still bought them. But anyways, yeah, I think I've spent like 17 or 18 bucks for about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. About 8 figures plus a freebie, I guess. So, yeah, which isn't bad. But um, here's Ram Man, which I like this Ram Man. He's pretty cool. You can... uh. Pop off his helmet. He's just got a little angry face, a little angry white face, and you put his helmet on there, and uh, it's pretty cool. I'm not sure where the helmets are, or what they're a knockoff of, or what they've come from, or if they're stolen from something, or just another mold of something that's been around. Because I don't do Legos a whole bunch, but um, he's a fierce-looking Ram man, and even my brother uh, Overlord said this looks almost better than the regular Ram man. <laughs> you know, it's a cool version. He's got a cool little axe. And uh, he's got a cool little skull like on his belt, like what you would have on his uh, regular Motu figure and stuff, which is cool. And uh, yeah, it's a cool little version of Ram Man, not really bad. And he's got his little um, accordion legs, little two little green notches on each leg, which I guess is to symbolize his accordion legs. Like, and uh, Ram stuff. And uh, here's He-Man, which this is the most fierce He-Man I've ever seen. He's uh, looks mad. He looks almost evil. He's got his... Uh, his power armor on, or his little, you know, his super armor suit on, with his uh, iron cross and stuff, and he's got his, uh, yeah, he's just pretty much straight up He-Man, but he doesn't have his little gauntlets, his little bracelets, he doesn't have those, that'd be kind of, would like to figure out a way to give him some bracelets, that'd be pretty cool, he's got a huge sword, so his power sword is huge, huge, and he's got a big old axe too, which I'm sure these come from some something else too that's Lego related, uh, Lego people would probably know this, and, uh, maybe that's, I don't know if that's some Luke Skywalker hair or what, but either way, it's a pretty good little He-Man, um, I know my, uh, brother, Chef Dan, uh, made some knockoff uh, He-Man figures, so he made some custom, he I actually need to do a video of those, of his, uh, I don't know if I ever did, of his, uh, little custom, like, I might have, a long time ago, I don't know, because pretty sure I did. You'd have to go look way into my archives and go watch some of my earliest videos to see if I ever made a video. I'll have to do it myself because I'm not even sure. But he did make me some, um, he got some of his own knockoff, uh, not knockoff, but he took out some of his own Legos and uh, constructed, you know, some custom Motu figures for me, which were pretty cool. And I need to dig them up. They're not too hard to find. And uh, yeah, they'd be pretty cool. I think you guys would like them. Maybe, maybe not. That's a cool little He-Man. I like them. And here's the sorceress. I think she has some of the most uh, most accessories. Almost, I don't know. She, uh, they all come with quite a bit of few things. But you had to put her together. You had this little white thing on the back, and then you got these little orange clippy dos. So you got to clip those on, and then you got the wings. So you got about one, two, three, four, five pieces just to make the wings, the wing assembly, and then you got a little helmet, which I'm sure is from some. Ninjago Space Knight thing or whatever the heck, you know, and then uh, and her clothes are cool because it's pretty much if you look at this, if you're Just got off. The, I don't know whatever Motu boat or something or whatever you'd be like yeah, that's uh, pretty much the sorceress and it'd be pretty cool to find a little uh, I need to find a little uh, you could Put a little jewel piece in there a little uh, translucent uh, Color piece you could probably put in there which would be pretty cool Make it a little uh, neater but yeah, this is pretty much what she came with. But yeah, pretty cool. And you gotta assemble these because what we're gonna do now is uh, assemble Man at Arms. Everybody's favorite, Duncan Man at Arms. Which he doesn't have a mustache, but he's got some kind of brown schmutz. Maybe it's supposed to be like 
side chops or something, but either way. Well, I guess we're not getting the, we're getting the legit, regular, original Mo2 um, Man at Arms, and we're not getting the, uh, the cartoon version of Duncan Man at Arms. I'm sure you could find a mustache guy, you could just do a custom version of your own and figure that out. But let's go ahead and put him together, get his arms in there. Man. But yeah, these are pretty neat. I don't do a lot of Lego stuff. I was collecting Legos years ago because my brother, Chef Dan, uh, was a Lego guy or was a Lego guy. And uh, just hanging out with your bros, you can tend to do what bros do. Rub off on each other and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I had some Legos and I just ended up giving away to Vampire and back to Chef Dan. And, you know, and that's pretty much it. Because I'm just like, I don't know. Lego Legos can be like a cult. Maybe not as annoying as like a, I don't know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go get preachy or wordy, but yeah, they're just, I don't know. Legos can be pretty involved sometimes, and, and I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole and be a Lego person because they can get pretty pricey. But yeah, there's a man at arms. He's pretty cool. I'm sure his helmet looks like some kind of little maybe. I don't know if it's a construction worker, or a little mil military helmet or something but it works definitely works and there's a little yellow uh back massager thing i don't know what it is but it's uh yeah i guess this is supposed to be his like little uh mace thing his little mallet thing or whatever but uh yeah that's pretty much man at arms it's pretty cool it's got a little arm armor and uh yeah it's, it's, it's a pretty good little version of man at arms it's pretty funny that is cool man Got a lot of nice little smirk to them, and he comes. And they come with uh, extra arms and pieces, or extra hands and stuff. Most of them, I've got like a good little handful of extra hands, which is cool. And uh, yeah, these are these are cool little minifigures. I like them a lot, and I suggest uh, if you want to get these, get on eBay. I picked these up for about maybe 17, 18 bucks and, and some shipping or something like that. I'm not sure, but um, I'd have to go look again and stuff. But uh. Yeah, they're worthy. They're worthy little figures. If you like, you know, Lego stuff or Motu stuff, get them because they're cool. I'm I'm glad I got them. I'm probably going to keep them. I don't think I'm going to give them away. I think I'm going to keep them because I like Motu and stuff like that. And so do a lot of uh, buddies of mine in Collector's Dungeon like uh, Motu stuff too and Instagram people. And an Instagram person, actually a Instagram lady turned me on to these and um, kind of gave me the friendly nudge to be like, why don't you just dip in and get these? These are cool. And I was like, and she's like, ah, oh, they're kind of cheap too. So... Why not? Anyways, it's enough yapping. Uh, if you like these little figures, go look on eBay. They're pretty cheap. Just type in like Motu knockoff Lego figures or Masters or He-Man or whatever, and you should be able to find them pretty easy. Thanks again for watching, y'all, and uh, have a good one. And uh, by the power of Grayskull, I have the power, and so can you. Later. Have a good one.